when I became a Christian, the first thing that I got excited about doing the first week I was a Christian was writing my first tithe check. Writing my first, first tithe check was an outward demonstration of where my faith was. Even though I was in a much different financial capability uh, then, I was excited about it. And Melanie and I were, we'd been married for a year at that time and she was excited for me because she'd been a Christian long before I was. And so the mindset that, that I think I had I adapted as a result of my faith was one of abundance. Our father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And before I was a man of faith, before I was a Christian husband, business person, man, um, my mindset was, was more of one of scarcity. And the generosity that I felt I had before I was a Christian, that generosity is much different than it is now. I can walk in faith and I can walk in trust and I know that, that the decisions that I make out of my generous spirit, the people that I impact, and the way that my generosity works in the world is, is much different because I don't have to be limited by my own idea about what abundance is or what generosity is. And so that's made me a more generous person. Uh, and, good times, in tough times, and there's been plenty of those over 25 years of marriage, Melanie and I. The one thing that's been consistent is our capacity for being generous. Because if you're not grateful for what you have right now, and you can't express that in terms of your generosity, then you're, you're living a life that's less than it could be. When I have a life that allows me to express my generosity in a way that is um, a little bit scary, then I know that I'm living in a good place and I'm a much happier person. So having a grateful, abundant mindset, that is all about generosity. It doesn't start with generosity, it starts with my mindset and everything else follows as a result of that. That's my secret.